Hey everybody, it's Fubri7 and welcome back to the channel. We got Team of the Week predictions. Again, one a day earlier than before so that the investments that I will talk to you about will uh, you'll be able to buy the players a little bit earlier. Uh, we're starting to have uh, a little bit interesting. The, look, there's no way around it. The team, the team of the week is bad. It's like the week before, it's bad. It's like one or another player are okay to invest in or around them in this case. But uh, look, the team is really, 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 really bad. So um, hey, we'll we'll see what we can do. It's again, this is like it's mostly not EA's fault. It's mostly not EA's fault. I know I always crap on them, but this time I have to say, not EA's fault because if the players are not playing good in real life, they can't force them here. It's that. The other, what I think it's a little bit of EA's fault. They should have had, uh, they should have an alternative when the team of the week is bad. And I'll keep saying this, like a lot of YouTubers say, it's not from my own head, it's what I hear from other people. and. I do agree with them. I think EA needs to put um, needs to put uh, promo packs, the promo team of the week, like when you do for the foot freeze. They should put put on one pack just for them. Just uh, you, they give two packs. Usually that's what I have. Uh, sorry, not two packs. They give two player choices. One for the team of the week. Uh, two for the team of the week. They, they should put one of the choices for team of the week and the other choices the other choice for um, the promo team because if you put all together you know how EA is most mostly everyone will get uh, selections from team of the week because promo cards are really uh, expensive so I think you get my my idea so let's go for the team of the week let me open the explanation that modding way they gave me this great explanation like they always do uh, they also give me this beautiful, beautiful image because I would I wouldn't be able to do this. I'm 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 bad. They give look guys, I'm telling you now, I've been saying this all week. It's not because we're friends, we talk a lot outside of uh, of YouTube, we talk about on a lot on Twitter about FIFA because that's what we love to do. We, we like to complain about the game. Uh, but guys, go to modding way. Uh, if you want your uh, the best information about your uh, esports games like you know, FIFA, PES, Madden, NBA, you know, all the things, all those competitive sports that you like to play. If you go to Modding Way, they have the best information available. They are amazing. I love working with them. I, lo I love complaining about FIFA with them. They are great people. The link is below. Go check their website. You're going to love it. Trust me. And also follow Foot Icon OK on Twitter. He puts like these predictions, these cards. It's really amazing. It's really many, and also he puts a, a bunch of rules. He he, he has this, the the Yankee fan with the rule breaker, and he's always always messing uh, everyone up. He's always messing everyone up. I keep I'm always scoring, so it's really good. But okay, so let's go to the team of the week. Okay, first of all, uh, Navas PSG. Okay, first of all, the nation is bad. Edition is so so bad. Uh, you but the card is solid 89, that's really good. He had a clean sheet and the performance on the win the 4 0 against uh, Strasbourg. Um, well, the, the reason why modding weight chose this one is because no other goalkeepers had an outstanding performance, so uh, they chose novice, and I do agree with them. My opinion around this uh, would be. Uh, Kimpembe. If you get Kimpembe, the inform Kimpembe, which is actually a good card. It's a very good card. Uh, I think his card is gonna rise and gonna link with this. If people, because he, he's French, he gives a strong link and he's gonna, it's gonna be easy to link. Like, if it was me, if I got Navas, probably I would get Kimpembe inform because it links with my Varane and it links with my, um, with my Mendy. So that that uh, I think Kimpembe is going to rise. I think Kimpembe would be a very good investment, especially because he's out of packs. So he's going to rise even more. Then, talking about French uh, defenders, you have Langley. 
you had one goal and you will probably get to the first uh, info. I personally wouldn't get, I wouldn't use this card I think, but uh, I wouldn't use this card because I already have Malvas and Baran, the team of the groups, not to really go to the final one, so he's 88. Um, but this goes in the same direction that uh, I was telling you about Malvas. What can you invest around Langley? You can invest in, I won't say Barcelona players because well, Ter Stegen could rise, because he's, he's, he's my goalkeeper, he's actually really good. Uh, Mindius could rise as well, because they're, they're going to do the, the good link. Maybe, um, oh god, I forgot, the, the Dutch kid from uh, from Barcelona, the center mid. Well, I forgot his name now. I shouldn't, but I forgot his name. But you know who you're talking, because he's a, he's a card that's very, very used, so... Uh, Barcelona players, these that I mentioned, and uh, Mendy. I don't see any other good, uh, good La Liga players to work around Langley that I see are all of the sun. Then you have Skriniar. Uh, Skriniar, let's see. He had one goal in the 2 1 win over Elas Verona, and it would probably be it would be his first in form on FIFA 21. Uh, this one, this is another hard one. I, I would consider this to be fodder. First, because the card is not that, won't be that good because it's very slow. So I will consider this fodder. But uh, if you want a, a tip, I would probably say that Handanovic will rise because it links to this one. I just, I don't think. Is it the perfect link? I don't know uh, Handanovic. This. I don't know this guy's nationality actually because the other one is Estonian. But that's the that's the gist of it, guys. Uh, I consider the screen yet to be fodder. Then you have Max. Max looks like a very interesting card, and it's one of those cards that you can use for uh, an Eredivisie uh, fun team. You already have the the foundations. Yeah, it's foundations players. Um, you have an inform Dumfries or the rule breaker Dumfries. You have a very good goalkeeper in Onana. Uh, it's actually starting to look really, really good. And it goes with the perfect link with the, with the defender, the German defender, which again, I don't remember his name. <laughs> then we have, oh yeah, by the way, Maxi had one goal, one assist. So that's why we consider it's going to be in. Uh, then we have Kalan Oglu. Oh my God, I, I just butchered this, this guy's name. Uh, this guy's just fodder, literally he's just fodder, I won't even talk about uh, uh, going around him, it's just fodder. Then Casemiro, uh, he had one goal and one man of the match, uh, again like Ross, he is fodder, he's too slow to be used in this game, he's just too slow and uh, yeah, if any player rises around him it's going to be Hazard, but for Hazard to be used uh, to be to rise this card has to be usable and this card is not usable then in Dombele he had one goal uh, he had he had one goal but this team draw, drew the game so this is like one of those things that we we don't know we don't know he had the if you guys remember last year he had the ones to watch it never got upgraded and it, this was a good card um, I don't think this guy is usable now. Maybe at the beginning of FIFA he was usable, but I don't think he's usable now. He, I remember last year, him and Sissoko. Yeah, it was Sissoko. It was, they were terrible partnership. It was terrible to face them. But in this case, uh, no, no. Um, I think I consider this guy fodder. Then this is the guy that I want to pack. I want to pack this guy so bad. I want this guy in my team. I want Carrasco. He had two assists. He was the man of the match. Uh, so, and since this is so far, as you can see, this has been a little bit sad. This has been a little bit sad. Uh, I think they might get an excuse to get a good player in. And Carrasco is that player. His goal card was already good. His first and form. A lot of I never got this first in form. I never tried it, but a lot of people tried it, and I heard great things about him. So 
I think the Haskell will rise. Again, what's the problem with this Kehashko? There's like, there's not a lot of links to this Kehashko because uh, Atletico Madrid only has one good player, actually. Oh, well, sorry, I'm lying. No, I'm lying. Okay. There's two investments that you can make around this Kehashko. It can be inform João Felix or inform or rule breaker Lorente. Those are the two cards that I would say that you should invest around this guy if he comes out, if you want to risk it. Remember, this is all the prediction. We are not sure. Uh, even like the last two weeks, we've had a little bit of an issue to get the right, to, to get the right uh, team. Hey, it's predictions. We can't get them all right. Then we have the star of this team weekend uh, team of the week he had one assist and a solid performance uh, again because most there's not a, a lot of good players on the team of the week they might get an excuse to get the, the sterling so uh, it's going to be the star this one is highly usable this one a lot of look prime players are going to rise around them like you can get a vardy because it's british uh, you'll get uh, the Bruin probable rise Aguero will rise because I still defend that Aguero is a solid card. Uh, a lot of cards will rise around them. Just go for the city links and English links and they're going to rise. They, around this guy, if he comes out, he's going to rise. This is a good card to invest around. Then you have Ribéry. He had one assist and was the man of the match. This card, I'll be honest, the stats itself don't look like wow. But this card is something that, that not a lot of cards have. He's 5 star weak foot, 5 star skill move. Uh, he's like one of the few in this game. So it would make him interesting. Especially if you put a, a hunter on him. He's going to get really pacey. Um, what can you invest around this guy? I'm going to say French players. Because not it. Well, maybe Lozano's and stuff. No, but I don't. The problem is everyone just had to play with two leagues either they play with La Liga or either they play with Prem you don't see a lot of people rocking at uh, Serie A uh, the, the the Ligue 1 they only want uh, Mbappe and Neymar don't want, they don't want anything else so it's gonna be hard to link this one it's interesting but I might be wrong on this but I'm gonna call this Ribery as fodder I don't think a lot of players will rise around them unless some people have that old school, old school feeling of playing with the Ribery. Then finally on par 11 we have Visca. He had uh, one goal, one assist. Uh, he can be a right forward. That's what uh, we believe uh, it's going to be a right forward. This is uh, this seems to be a very good super sub. Um, Shane this is going to be fodder because of the league that he is and the nation that he is so this is going to be fodder or a very good super sub i don't think anything is going to rise around them uh then we have uh we have the substitutes nothing that special nothing maybe muriel muriel can uh, can be in uh, like can be a good super sub because he's fast and he shoots well then uh our silver star which you probably can't see because I'm in the, in front let me just take me out uh, it's this one Kande where so Kande where um, he had uh, one goal one assist so we believe that he will be in and it's exactly what he likes a very fast player good shooting I think it's okay physical so guys this is our predictions and some tips around uh, the, the investment of the possible uh, possible team of the week 14 uh, it's a, oh by the way a wild card uh, we have Mario Hermoso, Areola and John Cancelo um, I think if all of these the one that might come might be Areola because Navas uh, already is going to be really high rated and I think he might give Areola a chance I don't know that's what I think uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you make a decision. Um, please leave a like, a comment, hit the bell icon. All those things that make us grow. Thank you so much for being here. Oh yeah, I remember. I told you guys I was going to do a, 
draft video for today, but I can't play FIFA. Uh, I'm, I think I played too many games on Sunday, and I can't play FIFA. I even playing squad battles is hard for me. So I'm taking like a few days playing softly. So um, I might try tonight. I might try tonight again, but uh, I really need a rest from FIFA. That's basically it. Uh, but uh, of course I'm putting the content, I'm putting everything in for you guys because I know you guys liked it. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I really don't know what video. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll do a club tour. I'll do a club tour. I'll tell you what I, what I've done, what I have, uh, well, my opinions in some cards. Um, yeah, well, I'll just do a, a, a club tour and see what you guys. Uh, feel or maybe I'll do the draft. I still don't know. I'll see how it is tonight uh, If I'm if I feel well, well rested, I might do that. So guys again. Thank you so much Hit the, the bell icon the comment a like all those things. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the support I'll see you tomorrow. Bye